born in Venezuela, raised in Chicago. I was brought up Christian. I would say very engaged in, in the church that I grew up in when my grandmother told us. The summer before she passed away, she was like, my, my mother was Jewish. I think you guys are Jewish because my mom is Jewish. My reaction was very defensive. Grandma, are you losing it? After my, my grandmother passed away, my mom was like, I'm gonna go and explore this. Whereas I was more defensive. I then went to University of Illinois. My mom encouraged me to go and attend Shabbat dinners. And I was like, you're Jewish, I'm Christian. I can't be Latina and Jewish. So like, I was trying to find every excuse in a way to not do it. It was just kind of like to get back at my mom in a way. There's a student we met on the quad. We were just tabling. And I remember the day we met her. I met Rabbi Dovid and Levi, his son. They said hi, they greeted me. She just said, I found out recently that I'm Jewish and from Latin America. And I invited her to Yom Kippur, it was this week. And I was like, no, honestly, like, my mom is the one that practices the religion. And I kept on seeing him every single day in the quad. And so it finally got to the point where I was like, I will go, I'll just check it out. I don't think she'll come. But as she tells the story, she wanted to get away from this boy that she was dating. So she decided to go to him. What better thing than bring him to a Jewish service? After services, she said, you know, I really like this. She said, oh my. <laughs> the beauty about it is that at no point did they force anything on me. They went out of their way to really make the environment welcoming for everyone. But she said, after services, we invited her to Shabbos dinner. And she actually said, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. This boy wants to go to a party I want to go to. She said, I came to Shabbos dinner, the old Chabad. I was so packed. I was so scared to come in, but there we were standing at the door welcoming her in. Went to my first Shabbat dinner. People were just like, cool, talk to us more. And then, like, it then sped, sprung off to, like, going on birthright. I connected with these people, bonded with these people, and birthright impacted me so much that I actually ended up going back to Israel six months later. Throughout all this time, Chabad was like the grounding place for me. I quickly learned it's okay to be Latino and Jewish. There's nothing wrong with that. It felt like a true family. It was really a very nourishing, I would say, experience. I'm very grateful to Rabbi Dovid and Goldie. The work that they do and what they've done to literally put everybody else before them in their life. They go out of their way to make sure everybody's welcomed. And it all starts with the seed. He and Goldie have impacted that entire Jewish community. Because you see, she actually met a table a year before us, right when she found out she was Jewish. And as she was signing up at that table, someone said, she's Latina, don't waste time with her. She made a decision that day she wants nothing to do with Judaism. One experience, one year later, on one table, on one quad, today she's living in Florida, raising with her husband, two beautiful Jewish children. You guys were able to take a kid, that soul, and really nourish it, help it grow, help it find its, navigate its journey, its life, its me.